Hi guys, it's Lucy, and today I'm going to be doing the Summer Reader Book Tag. This tag was created by Island of Books, and I will link their channel down below. This tag kind of just has a bunch of summer topic theme things, and then prompts questions based on that, where you pick a book, as most other book tags have you do. So let's just get right into the topic question things. And Lemonade, pick a book that started off bitter but got better. For this topic, I have chosen The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutkowski. This one started off pretty slow at the beginning, and then towards the halfway point is when it really picked up. So it didn't necessarily start off bitter, but it did start off a little slow and not as interesting as I would have liked. But the end, I found really interesting enough to pick up the second book. And this is basically about a girl in a low fantasy world where... She is the daughter of a high-ranking general, and so she's like, high society, blah blah blah, and in this society there are slaves, and she goes to a market and buys a slave. Golden Sun. Pick a book that made you smile beyond compare. I wouldn't say this is beyond compare, but a book that I recently read that made me laugh out loud a bit was Hyperbole and a Half by Ali Brosh. I don't know if this counts as a graphic novel, because... It's like illustrations. I mean, like graphic novels have illustrations, but in my comics class, we talked about how the difference between graphic novels and like picture books is that graphic novels, the illustrations like add something to the story in that like it tells the story. And then like picture books, they just kind of illustrate what the words say, if that makes sense. I don't know. That was a tangent. Anyway, this is a book. It's kind of like a memoir kind of thing where Ali Bross just talks about like random events in her life. She talks about her dogs, her depression, and like various other things that happen. She tells stories about her childhood and they're all pretty funny. Even the one about the depression is like, it's emotional, but she still manages to make it lighthearted. Tropical Flowers. Pick a book set in a foreign country. For this one, I chose Persepolis by Marjan Satrapi. This book is a memoir about Marjan. It's just about her life like before and during the Iranian Revolution and then the aftermath. And so it takes place in Iran and also Vienna. Tree Shade. Pick a book where a mysterious or shady character is first introduced. For this one, I have chosen Wink Poppy Midnight by April Genevieve Tuhalki. Basically every character in this is shady. And I loved it. So, Beach Sand. Pick a book that was grainy and the plot barely developed. For this one, I've chosen Wicked by Gregory Maguire. I wouldn't say that the plot barely developed. I didn't like this book. It was one of my worst books of last year, and I have a video all about that. Link down below and in this corner. But it was just, there were too many subplots going on that none of them really developed. So, like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I'm ch I chose this one. Green Grass. Pick a character that was full of life and made you smile. I chose Lola from Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. I really like Lola. She's just a really fun character to read about, and all of her crazy antics are really fun. Even though I didn't agree with all of her choices, she was just like a fun character to read about. Watermelon. Pick a book that had some juicy secrets. For this, I chose Welcome to Night Vale by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner. If you also listen to the podcast before you read this book, then this book reveals something that you were definitely wondering. And yeah, that's all I'm really going to say because like spoilers, but... Sun Hat. Pick a book that had a vast universe and setting. For this one, I'm kind of cheating because I chose A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin, which technically I haven't read yet, but by the time this video was up, I should have read it. And I know that this book slash series has like a very vast fantasy setting, so... Yay. Barbecue. Pick a book in which a character was portrayed as a hunk. For this one, I kind of had a little bit of trouble. I don't really pay attention to physical descriptions in books. Like, my book crushes kind of things don't really have to do with how they're physically described because I tend to, like, throw that away because, like, I can't see them. So I just imagine whatever I feel like imagining. And, yeah, so I just chose one of my book crushes, and I'm pretty sure he's not described as, like, super physically attractive, but, like, cute, like... Not a hunk, but like cute. Levi from Fangirl. I don't know anyone who's read this that doesn't have a tiny little bit of a crush on Levi just because he's so adorable. Summer fun. Pass the tag on. So I haven't actually like looked at people to tag 
So I will do that down below. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any opinions about any of the books that I mentioned in this video, please be sure to leave a comment down below. And if you like seeing me talk about books, please be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make more videos where I talk about books. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! As most other book, pa book pags. For this one, I've chosen Wicked by Grip.